Hello again, everybody. It's time for Kurt Berglund's Monday Baseball Book Review. Every Monday, we do a book review at 10 a.m. that focuses on sometimes fiction, mostly nonfiction, baseball books that could be old, could be new, could be somewhere in the middle. And I give you all the information about it uh, on my channel in 10 minutes or less. Uh, so it doesn't take up too much of your time. Please subscribe to my channel and uh, keep up to date with all the other good stuff that I've got going on on the channel as well. The book today is called Lost Summer. It's by a man named Bill Reynolds. The edition that I have, is, this has been uh, published in a few different formats. It's in hardcover. I believe it's out of print now, but it's in hardcover. This one is by Warner Books. It's a paperback. It has an index at the back. It is about 295 pages. There is a section of pictures in the middle, and the topic is the 1967 Impossible Dream Boston Red Sox. Uh, I really enjoyed this book. When I picked this book up for the first time, I did not know much about the 1967 Red Sox. And there's a number of sub-themes kind of going through here. Uh, 1967, of course, in American history, was just a very interesting year and a very difficult year in American history. And uh, this book certainly has uh, the flavor of what the time was like, but it doesn't spend too much time dwelling on the difficulties and the trauma of 1967 history. Instead, it focuses on the team. And the thing that really comes out in the book to me, um, Dick Williams, who later on, of course, became manager of the dynastic Oakland A's uh, World Series, two of the Oakland A's World Series teams, and later on with the Expos and Padres and the Angels and the Mariners after the Padres. Um, so he had a long managing career. This was his first season, and he won the American League pennant in that season. And one of the things that I learned about the team in this book, are, and it wasn't really something that Bill Reynolds spent a lot of time digging through as a separate event, but the theme kept repeating over and over again on how Dick Williams, in his first year as a manager, and I think to a certain extent, this is a theme throughout his managerial history, was looking for the hot hand. He was looking for the pitcher that was going to be good right now. He was looking for the hitters that were going to hit right now. And he had no time to wait uh, on your potential. So if you were Carl Yastrzemski, you're in good shape. You got to pass. But if you were a young player, if you were Joe Foy, having some defensive struggles, if you were um, Billy Rohr, a young pitcher, uh, if you were any of the catchers, whether it's uh, Russ Gibson, or Mike Ryan, uh, Bob Tillman. If you were not good right now, he was going to find somebody who might be. And that was one of the dominant themes of this team. And I learned about that in spades by reading this book. Covers the drama of the season. Certainly covers the Tony Canigliaro uh, injury and the arrival of Ken Harrelson and the uh, World Series, as well against the um, St. Louis Cardinals that they eventually lost in seven games. But if you're interested in the 1967 Red Sox, or even if you're just interested in a leadership strategy that's really unique and different, uh, it's Dick Williams in 1967, and you do see shades of this in his later managing with other, se of other teams in other seasons. 
So it's it's an interesting book from a lot of different. It's from a leadership perspective, from a history perspective, uh, from all the things that this team had to overcome to become the American League pennant winners in 1967. I like the book a lot. Lost Summer, Warner Books. You can pick it up for less than ten dollars at a used online bookstore, or maybe even at a local bookstore, used bookstore by you. It's a pretty common book, but it's a good one. And uh, Bill Reynolds is the author. It has an index. It has pictures, about 295 pages. I think you'll like it. Thank you for joining me. Next week, another book on Kurt Berglund's Baseball Book Reviews. Don't forget to subscribe, and thank you again. Have a wonderful day. So long, everybody.